whatever. Hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode number three. It's been two weeks since our last episode. I'm Dieter Hembicki. I'm your dungeon master for the evening. Go. Uh, hello, I'm Luke, and I will be playing the Barbarian Buck. Cool. I'm Mark. Pronouns he, him. I'm playing Illyrius the Bard, and I got murked by a Minotaur last session. You did. And I'm Darian. I'm playing Kados the uh, Sorcerer. I've been stowed away, or ran away, since last session. Uh, I'm Sean, and I can't believe that they're letting us do this for a third time, somehow. <laughs> I'm playing Oscas uh, the Druid. Hello, my name is Michael. Uh, I'm playing uh, Wolfren, the, the Paladin, that is somehow well, single-handedly almost kicked that Bavarian, that Minotaur's yep, ass. Pretty much. Uh, so, uh, Kados, uh, how was your adventures in the uh, Fey world? Is that where I went? I, uh, you know, I kind of blacked out while I was there, um, and I'm just... Uh, Turns out that the Fey's know how to party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Let's just say I had a fun time. Uh... <laughs> All right. So it's, like, it's like it's like it's like seven years later. He has like there's like a little kid knocking on his door. It's like hello there. Oh, oh no. Like, oh god. <laughs> All right. So as a quick recap, we are in the town of what's the town name? What's the town name? Uh, the town name of prepared for this session. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually outside of that town. We're going to a place called Melon. Hill, I think, is what I named it. Yep. Yeah, Melon Hill. Melon. Um, you are, all of our, our dudes, all of our guys, are uh, going with a prisoner that they just broke out. Dudes are here. Just dudes called, uh, <laughs> What is Ashley's her name? Rathene? Uh, yeah, it's like Rathene or something like that. I'm no, it's here. It's here. Rathene. It is Rathene, good. Um, and a uh, merchant who is just paying for, I guess, all of these guys to go to this place, and I'm really not entirely certain what his motivation is. Shout out to Brandon. His motivation Robert. is to stop the uh, Yeah, he wants his, he wants his um, business, to keep, business to keep going, and see, the thing is, there are these two outlaw groups. One's uh, from uh, Jarella's Sorcerer, and she's a bunch of kobolds, and the other one's these gray bandits, um, and they're going to a truce meeting where they're going to basically split up the land and have it more of like gang territory is how I would explain it, of uh, stopping any imports from coming into the city. And Brandon Yee, a uh, merchant, does not like that. So we need to stop it. Yeah, by causing chaos. By, I guess, causing chaos. Also, last session, after we broke uh, the boy, uh, not, not the boy, uh, Rathene out of the out of the Grim Shackle, oh, the previously Grim Shatskys. Yes. Uh, <laughs> jail. Oh God, that was a stupid job. <laughs> yeah, and then we uh, you we, know, we, we were... went to a fireworks, I guess, factory and stole thirty fireworks. Well, thirty well, pounds. Thirty pounds. <laughs> well, according to this three E. Sheet, which was the only thing I could find on fireworks because they apparently don't exist in D&D. Should have figured that one out before we went to raid. Um, <laughs> well, it's in it's in 3.5, so it's whatever. It, it, it should Plus, be. It's, it's also good enough. Enough. Through, so I don't even think that they uh, really exist. But according to this, uh, they uh, weigh a singular pound, so you have 30 of them. No, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Some big fireworks. Didn't we, didn't we also, like, we, we, we initially stole them but then the guy realized, oh shit, you stole some. Yeah, I lost so much gold in yeah, that then, direction. Then, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you lost like 75 gold or something. No, it was like You lost gold. No, it was a lot. It was a lot, but I don't remember. That oh, was I... two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, three, three weeks, weeks ago, ago, actually. You can just go to the other episode. If you're coming yeah, if you want it. Why am I recapping this? Just go watch. Four hours of content. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have we uploaded that on YouTube, Dieter? Mark, have we uploaded that on YouTube? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Sure. Go, go YouTube.com slash... Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you ring that Unim bell. Esports. Um, Unim Esports. Unim Esports, not to be confused with the other one that does mobile gaming. Please don't go to that channel. <laughs> <laughs> or just... 
you know, the one that's in English, English. cuz yeah. the other one is not in English. Oh, it's in Indonesian. Anyways, we've already gone off the rails. Yeah, um, so far. No, there are no rails in this campaign. Trains don't exist. True. Um, so, you fellas, y'all, if I am allowed to say that word, um, are going to Melon Mount. Um, it took like half a day to just pony there. Okay. Um, and so you guys are, you got there. Um, Great. Woo! So are we the first ones there? No, or? no, no. <laughs> so, okay. How far are we from the prison? Did uh, we, we already... Well, like... Did we walk past it on the way there? It, it, a sizable yeah. distance away. No? Okay. So I, I was going to suggest that we go back and maybe try and break out the Minotaur and like get him on our side. <laughs> you know, get him on our yeah, I'll side. have to pass on that one, Chief. Um, <laughs> I don't, okay. If you're getting um, mauled. If you fair. want to no, fight a Minotaur just go. No, again. Right. No, okay. I don't want to fight him. I want to be friends with him. Fight. Do you want to life? fight a Minotaur again? No, I, want be, I want to befriend him. Um, uh, so it takes... About 18 hours of travel. I guess that's longer than a day. Well, it's less than a day. <laughs> well, well, it's less than a day but more than half a day. Yeah. Like said. <laughs> so you, you guys get a long rest in there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, sweet. You, you stop at well, you know, you, you you get pretty pretty far, and then you're like, nah, we'll we'll take the take the day, take a rest, and then you uh, start up in the morning, and, and get to Melon Hill. So there's fog. Um, Okay. The fog swirls aside, revealing an effigy of a king carved into the top of the hill. A full eight feet tall from toe to crown, seated on a rocky ledge over, overlooking the rest of the area. Trees sprout from around it, moss clings to its weathered surface, and its right hand get, grasps a goblet. A tumbling waterfall flanks the statue, bathing its body in glistening spray. Structures of various degrees of permanency surround the statue, coils of smoke lazily winding through the misty air. Yeah, so, I love mist. There the you you guys approach from It's my favorite weather. You, you you guys approach it kind of head on and uh, to the west you have like it's a very loose camp. It's a lot more um, uh, less uh, less put together. Um, and then on the east, it's very, like, you have circles, main streets intersecting it. You can very clearly tell where everything is in relation to each other. Um, yeah, that's on the east. Um, tunnels, it's kind of up against a, a cliff side, and tunnels dot the rock face behind that. And you can see the whole train of caravans that got both sides there, uh, kind of in the distance. All right, so we're doing a false flag operation, right? Yeah. That's our, that's our goal is to uh, convince the humans that the kobolds set fire to their camp, right? Because yeah. they're dragons? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Can we, can we easily, <laughs> can we easily tell which is the humans and which is the kobolds camp? Uh, yeah, the humans camp is the one that's on the... Is that the nice one? On the guessing, east, which yeah. is very... That's uniform. the one with the road. The one with the road. <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes sense. The other sense. one is just thrown together. The other one has mostly kobolds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's thrown together in one You're telling me. Okay. okay. So. so, team, how do we want to approach this? I mean, Take firework, put in camp. Blow up camp. All right, it's, big guy. You think uh, you think they won't notice you in there? Or? No. <laughs> me, very stealthy. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Hide from me. Okay. Uh, Twelve. I guess I'll I'll, I'll roll a uh, perception. I'll roll perception, perception back. Check. <laughs> Where is my d twenty? Here it is. Perception is 15. 
I'm just like hiding behind a bush, but like the whole my whole <laughs> yeah. fan is just sitting over. <laughs> so I say with the twelve, you get better than that. Yeah, yeah you, you get like a, a little bit more than that. <laughs> but I still see you. Mm. He's like he's, he's he's like in the bush, but you can definitely see his hair. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, um, let me let me let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Rathine. Yes. <laughs> Hold on, Rathine is just shuffling papers. You're like, you're you're all confused as to where she got all these papers. Will you just see Rathine just wildly shuffling papers? She branded. Do they? Uh, does the uh, does the people have uh, like a like a consistent like watch schedule? Um. What time is it? <laughs> a couple right. hours. Uh, so it's it's. Uh, let's say it's it's about 10 a.m. Okay. Um, Rathine's like, so, Rathine, okay. She's, she's like, so what I can tell you is that the two heads of camp are going to be meeting at the top of the hill mm-hmm. at noon. And every half an hour, they'll take breaks, go back to their camp to discuss, and then come back half an hour after that to keep uh, trying to hash out uh, yeah, the plans of city domination, I suppose. We weren't really let in on, on what we're negotiating for, um, but what I can tell you is that we were all explicitly told over and over that if we suspect there to be treachery afoot. Uh, an archer will light an arrow on fire and shoot it into our camp. And that is, uh, yeah, it sounds like a bad idea, but that's how we, that's our signal to like charge, I guess. So, Ms. Lady. Yes, Raheem. Ms. It, do they like, is there like a target? That you ha- that the flaming arrow aims at, or no? You I just think it's just kind of like it? I think it's just kind of like a signal flare. Like so you just send it. We just send it. So like if you hit somebody, it's just if he dies, he dies. I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's an kind of, it's an you got him with the flaming arrow. He's gonna die. You're gonna die. It's an open archer. I know. I, it's I think he has back. like a magic bow or something like that. So like, I mean, I guess he would kill someone. But I, I, I don't think he's going to. Uh, but you're telling me that he doesn't aim anywhere specific. It, do, he you, just, do you have a uniform? I can well, be a uniform. Well, we're all humans. Well, except for the ones who aren't. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> you know helpful. Says. Continue. Uh, I mean, we're, you know, most of us are old, like, Knights of the Watch. So we have that. Okay. okay. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, we could also. I mean, I would, I would hope that. <laughs> he's like, like he's like, there, there, night of the no, watch, huh? There's no boy. real, there's no real uniform, but like, I think most importantly, it is very, yes, it is very easy to tell the difference between me, and um, <laughs> the scary dragon kobold monsters over there. <laughs> yeah, but how easy is it to like tell that. between you and me? Would we <laughs> blend? Is the question. Um. How many people work here? Or good would... question. <laughs> Do they offer dental? Is there, is there yeah, D100 I can roll? Or Archer, try and get another job. <laughs> uh, <laughs> listen, the coffers are empty. Yeah. <laughs> I need to pay a lot of money for these fireworks. <laughs> Just <Okay>. saying. <laughs> Um, I I mean, last I checked, I think we have like 50 people. I don't know how many kobolds there is, but I would imagine if there's a if, if a truce had to be called, then the kobolds aren't out forcing anyone. We're you know probably fairly evenly matched. So like two kobolds. Okay, okay, okay. So if we if we just happen to waltz up to the camp with our wagon like hey we were part of the caravan and we got lost our bad I mean, I mean w- w- would they you know would they hello just, like, I'm stupid merchant and I don't know where I am could you good fellows point me to a good thing 
I mean, that can that can work. Yeah, too. <laughs> but I was thinking like, hey, we're one of you guys, but we got lost. Oh, you know? well, well, I mean, that's, that's that, that, I, I wouldn't suggest posing as like one of them because we kind of know that. But I mean, yeah. that's what I. That's all I want. Yeah, there's only fifty. She just she just stares at bread and like. I mean, if you just pose as a merchant trying to sell, you know. I mean, Things to a camp. Camps always need things. Yeah. I'm, I'm in. Um, I'm in. That would probably get you get you in. Um, I have these cow traps. You need cow traps. <laughs> I don't. What's a cow trap? Thank it's you. uh to stop like Calvary. Yeah, it's like it's like basically balls of spikes. It's yeah. like this. Think of any made out of traps metal. Are very small. Yeah. yeah, they're like a real thing. Would you it can, stop a kobold? Maybe I mean, it I mean, would slow them down. Huh. Would a kobold like? Would, would, would kobold step on a goat head without thinking about it? Ooh, or are they, they smart they enough? Damage. I mean, if they're wearing well, any foot, footwear. Are are the kobolds smart enough to avoid the cow traps? Because if they are not, they yes, are metal. Then, so yes. I would assume yes, but. You know, horses not. They so. are not kobolds. <laughs> <That's so smart. laughs> Full force. <laughs> Step on them. Kobolds aren't mindless zombie hordes. I mean, they're pretty dumb, though. I mean, yeah, but they're not. They're not fully mindless. Yes. <laughs> on a scale of, uh, I don't know, house cat to <laughs> house <laughs> dog. smart. Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> scale from house cat to big guy. Yeah, I'd say it's How? a big guy over here. Okay. Um, okay. Let's say Big guy, you know not to step on on sharp sharp objects, right? Define sharp. I'm just objects. saying that we can oh, sell them. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. okay. I, um, I, they probably will do a uh, a wagon check before you get into camp. Right. Yeah. Um, and I don't. Uh, bringing fireworks into camp is probably no, not. No, we're gonna we're gonna well, unload well, all of them. We right? sell fireworks. No, no, no. We don't want to sell them because okay. we're using them. Well, but, 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 I mean, but they're not going to want to buy them. We sell them. Yeah, okay, we no, no, sell them. No, no, no. Because then they're going to know it's us. Okay. We, need, we need this to be a false frag operation. So I think we remove sure. all of sure. the fireworks and just put my single bag of cow traps in the middle of the wagon. And they'll buy it. Okay. That's what a do joke. We do with the they're not going to buy that. Like, no, we need other buy. stuff. I got but, an idea. got an idea. Is that the two that, that whoever has like this guy's cell or yep. whatever that can disguise themselves. They hold off of that way on the side, and like who else? Who else is with us? We just cause some distractions on the side. Get the guard to not look. The two slip in, plant some, plant some fireworks. Bada bing, bada boom. Go off. We, okay. Um. Do you have a, you? Do you have a backpack that can carry fifteen pounds of up fireworks? <laughs> I can empty my current one. Okay. Which yeah. would carry a decent amount. Probably, probably ten. Okay. Cause ten I mean, seems like a lot, but I don't want to like. How big are the fireworks? I mean, they're only yeah, a pound. Fireworks. I can imagine like it'd be like. Yeah, yeah if they're only a pound. They're only like a pound. I yeah. might get quite a few in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Ten. Okay. Cool. You want to risk having ten fireworks on your back? Yeah, hundred percent. I do. Uh, Get hit by a flaming arrow from nowhere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes our oh, just no. explodes. Okay. In honorable way, uh, because <laughs> little man has a good plan here. Well, Actually, my main problem is that like uh, we sell people. It stuff. might be suspicious. Uh, uh, just as a not a person, as a uh, I guess I will tell you how fireworks work mm -hmm. because. I guess you need to know that. Okay, yeah, that's um, fair. So, uh, when fireworks are lit, which takes an action, uh, they're lit, man. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. They go 50 feet and explode at the end of this move. What if they're obstructed? Can we stop Can them from going 50 from feet? Moving? Or will they go 50 feet no matter what? They'll go, I mean, it's a rocket. Like, so, so, so if it, it hits the ground before that, you cool. can like aim it. Like, Just making sure it's not like a... It's not a laser. Cool. <laughs> like, All right. It's not a laser. Yeah, yeah. It's like a loose RPG. Yeah. yeah it's, it's like it's like you just. Have you ever shot a Roman candle? Okay. Yeah, all right. I'm like, just yeah. making sure because the way you defined it was it will go 50 feet. So. Well, that's that's like that's its range. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Fireworks <laughs> create a loud bang and, br and bring a flash of light when they expose explode. Blah blah blah. It's a firework. Uh, 
Any creature within a 10-foot sphere of the rocket uh, must make a DC 13 reflex save or be deafened for 1d4 rounds and dazzled for 1d6 rounds. Oh, this is... This uh, they is can be heard uh, from pretty far away. Um, this tells me exactly how, but we're just going to say, like, I mean, fireworks are loud. Like, yeah, I can hear Anywhere yeah. in this area, if you, if you put out a fire, if you shoot a firework, the other camp's going to be like, what the hell was that? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. And it, upon impact, if you get it at someone, uh, or within five feet of someone, it deals 1d6 of fire damage. In, in addition to the uh, dazzling and deafening. And we have 30. And we have 30. <laughs> and we have 30. Huh? One in. Um, I will say, I'm going to, my way to balance this is these are not accurate, like, at all. Because uh, otherwise these will just, like, one shot. Just like... <laughs> you take dummy disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what if we do this? What if we put the fireworks into the wagon? And we take the wagon to the top of the hill. Well, they're going to beat it. Yeah, light the fireworks and push it down the hill into the camp. And then it explodes. Well, See, that would be a great idea if they weren't at the hill. Yeah, if they weren't at the top of the hill. Or well, it they wouldn't... Do. They do all leave the hill every 30 minutes. Yeah, but we're on top also, of a hill. <laughs> why are we... Why would we want to blow up the one camp? Because then they'll be like, oh, well, it was obviously the other... Enemy camp, and then they'll fight. Yeah, each but other. if they all die, then okay, it's okay. kind of a so, moot point. But if they're not gonna I'm gonna say thirty fireworks <laughs> is gonna do. It's not gonna kill them all, but it's gonna do like that. Would probably take out a decent amount of the camp. So okay, we'll, so we'll, we'll, we'll like fifteen, fifteen. Yeah, that's so we split it in half, and we send fifteen at one camp and fifteen at the other camp, and then they will fight each other. They both think that. They They're attacked like, oh, each other at the same time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the confidence in the yeah makes me think that no. <laughs> Another question is, are we doing it while the leaders are in the camp or when they're meeting? Oh, okay, what if we just like took, like I don't know, the, the, five, the ten fireworks in my backpack, I just walk in there and just light it. But <laughs> then we leave did. Without being seen. Uh, Rath How? Rathine puts, she's like, so we have like the arrow shot over to like show like when to just charge the enemy camp. I'm sure the kobolds have like a similar No, they're system. dumb. No, that makes too much sense. No, we, no. Yeah, kobolds are dumb. Have you seen a kobold? <laughs> so if we were able to like kidnap a guard or something and ask them. Listen up DM proxy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be We're really, doing this the hard way. That would be a really effective way of getting both camps to attack each other. No. Okay. New plan. Does anyone have a bow? Just out of curiosity. We, no, we only need one firework. Okay, well, I do have a fire we spell. Send Unhelpful if we don't have a bow. That firework into the human camp, mimicking the arrow. They then suicide charge. <laughs> I think <laughs> again we're missing a critical piece of it. Yeah. It's clearly a firework when it explodes. Okay. <laughs> 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 clarify, I have a fireball with the range of 120 feet. Right. Okay. I have right. sword. So we. How does no one have a bow? <laughs> what if I'm a sorcerer? Wait, does anyone have any ranged weapons at all? I have a javelin. I have the fireball. What but if we? I have javelin. magic. <laughs> yeah, can we get the can we get the big guy to just really just huck a javelin into the air as hard what if as we he can? Kidnap the guy that is supposed to shoot the arrow. Where That's, is he? Yeah. He's at the top of the hill. Yeah, where the leaders are. <laughs> no, they're in the camp. <laughs> Okay, okay. So they're not meeting till well, they noon. alternate every thirty minutes. Exactly. So we just go up there when while they're alternating, we sneak up there. The guy comes up. And okay. Then we take the bow. I'm I'm a fan of that plan. Yeah. That sounds like a good plan. Shoot, and then we can take the fireworks and okay. sell them on the black market. <laughs> yeah, this one. We don't even need the fireworks. We don't even need the fireworks. Okay. No. Oh, like or. Firework. Oh, you want them? Okay, you can keep them. Yeah. I want we, the fireworks as well. Just a couple. You know, just, just use them as weapons. They do a d6 of damage. <laughs> okay. What if? Just light we them. Just throw them at enemies. Bury the fire. Okay. New plan. <laughs> oh no. 
I'm both really digging. Uh, I don't know. We go to the top of the hill. Uh huh. We still kidnap the guy and take the bow and do the thing. But we also bury, like, I don't know, 15 pounds of fireworks underneath where the leaders are going to meet oh. with a fuse running to, like, a hiding spot. Do you have a so fuse? when they meet, I'll just I have it. hemp and rope that we can use as a fuse. Oh, so that when they meet, okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You just stick the little fuse out of the ground. I'll hit it with my fireball. Okay, yeah, or he can fireball. I could, actually, I could just use prestidigitation. There you go. We there you go. We have multiple See, ways. Multiple okay. ways. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure that we had a we had a thing going there. <laughs> Boom! Double okay. kill. Okay. Leader's dead. And then we shoot. Problem and then solved. we shoot the arrow. Yeah. No, we shoot no, before. Well, before. No, wait, wait. So no. when when are they exploding? So. So, before or after the arrow? Well, I wait. think it should be after the arrow. I don't think we need to shoot the arrow if we're just I going for the double kill. The, yeah, just blow up both leaders. Everyone's yeah. going to be like, oh, they did it, and then go at each other. No, yeah. I don't mean... I don't, it, are Why don't we just shoot the arrow, be like, ah, things are happening, and then they hear an explosion, and then everyone's panicking. Yeah. But we I need mean, to make sure that we use the fireworks to take out the... The bad guys, both of the leaders. Well, that's, right. well, that's, well, that's the thing is, is if we shoot the arrow, and we like just create like as long as we time it well. Yeah, and, yeah. and we create like a small explosion. What's the time? It, everyone will get freaked out, and then both leaders will just kill, most likely kill each other, and we'll most likely have the advantage because we're on the high ground. We can just start chucking, at, chucking. Well, I don't want to fight an army. Well, well, that's the thing. You got me messed gonna, up. You think I'm doing that? Well, no. That's the thing is the armies are gonna be fighting each other. We're just gonna be watching, and then we pick off whoever's left. Well, I'm gonna be hiding. I don't know if I'm gonna be watching. That seems like a poor move, <laughs> baby. So yeah. So, you guys, so what time is it now? Uh, say it's eleven. You guys have been arguing for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> How much time do we have? We have an hour. Okay. Well, they, so, so the meeting starts at at noon at high noon. Uh huh. They go to the top, and they start bargaining. Okay. And then at 12.30, they break for half an hour, consult their elders or whoever, and then they come back and bargain some more, okay. and on and off. So I think that we can get the arrows going really quickly here, and then I can disguise myself as the arrow guy. Yeah. And then just stand there. Right? Okay. So it's and then when they break, we can bring up the, the, the fireworks, bury them. And then, and then they'll come back, and I'll be like, "There's treachery." I like and then, this. And then what if we the bury them beforehand, so we're not we risking do... timing. That's fair, but That's only if we have time. Well, True. okay. So we gotta get you in position at the next swap, which is either like right now or in 30 minutes. Let's go right, right now. now. Right, Let's now. Go. right now. Right uh, now. Okay. But First, we should probably get, be like two of us. Can I get a perception check? <laughs> sure. Say initiative. I was like, From oh, all God. of us? Uh, sure. Okay. Let's see what you perceive. Uh, well, um, I don't perceive nothing. I got a nat one. I got a 12. <laughs> I'm far okay. too concerned about this conversation. Uh, 17. 17. I got 17. I got 21. Um, <laughs> so you two see through the fog. It's fog. Oh, yeah, nice fog. Mist. Not much fog. A little light fog. Try to punch a clock. Once. More like a mist. <laughs> mist. I'd say. Which is what you said earlier. Uh, you, you spotted a scaly humanoid with leather bat-like wings. The creature has two reptilian head. One looks around nervously while the other whispers into a black stone held in its palm. Palm. The creature cannot be more than three, three and a half feet tall. Mm. And how, how far? far away is it? Uh. <laughs> Not that I see. 20 feet. Like, kind of more in the woods. Okay. Like you guys are, like, around the the mound. All right, I am like immediately relaying this information. <laughs> I rolled the I'm, like, <laughs> pointing. <laughs> I'm, like, what the, what the heck is that thing? I'm going to full sprint at it with my sword out of Okay. I'm, wait, I want to <laughs> stop. I, I want to yell after him, don't kill them. <laughs> I rolled an eight to hide. Oh, is this an initiative thing? Uh, sure. What? Roland. I want to be well, friends with it. He wants to. I, I, I am hiding initiative. first. Okay. Uh, all right. That's all I'm saying. Well, I guess roll a stealth first to okay. see if it you can like. I want to not. I guess not sneak up on it, but like, it, just give me a give me a stealth roll. Gotcha. With like disadvantage. Disadvantage. Roll it again. Yep. I got it. 
hope for everyone. Oh, or just I love the nap one. Okay. Okay. This man is screaming. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. I'm like you, describing it to him. He's just like. If you pull out your sword and just start running at it, uh, it, uh, it, it, uh, it notices, no let's just say. Yeah. Um, let's roll for initiative. Okay. You, you, you get to 16. 18. Hey. I got a solid 7. I got 3. Um, no. I got a 5. Well, uh, I'm glad go I'm first. going first. Oh, yay. Um, what's your speed? I think it's 30 feet. It's All right. That you get to get up to it and take a swing. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> I will. I. I'm basically screaming at him to stop at this point. Uh, so I'm gonna. I, I wanna instead <clears throat> of like swinging, I just wanna like have my sword in my hand and just tackle it, just okay. like pretending like my sword's not there. Uh, what is that? A. Uh, I think that's a yeah. grapple. I don't know if there's like. A, it's it's usually or grapple just, against strength. Yeah, yeah. strength. It's like a, if there's not a grapple, then it's just strength against strength. It's, uh, it's athletics or a, uh, agility. No, agility. Uh, acrobatics. Well, I only have strength on this. We're going to use strength. Strength to be strength? Yeah. Okay. Got a 10. <sighs> it's like this thing's going like a 4. Can you roll for uh, a 10? He has a plus 5. Yeah, <sighs> No, what? I think I would get disadvantage. Yeah, but like, I mean, damage yeah, to you, both parties. So you, well, you, just, not... like, you, you fully barrel into this creature and just like flying tackle it and just like bear hug it, you know, do the spin thing in the, in the air so like you land on your back and you're just like holding it. Um, it drops its seeing, st- its sending stone, um, and it is fully under your control. Like there is—is <laughs> is it just the one, or is there? There's two? just one of them. Oh, okay. It's got two heads, right? It does have two heads. Okay. Stupid freak. <laughs> uh, so, what, are you doing anything else? Um, I mean, I'm just gonna keep holding it, All just right. bear hugging it on the ground until everyone else comes in. Right. Look, guys, look what I got! <laughs> <laughs> I go freak. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. You just tackled the guy with the walkie-talkie. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, yeah, are we still in initiative? Uh, no, you, I, you guys won, I guess. <laughs> and you just, like, this, this thing, just, like, instantaneously, just, like, as soon as it's, like, caught its, like, even before it's caught its breath, but, like, as soon as it gets its bearings, because this monster just came flying basically out of nowhere and just fully tackled it. It was like, I'll tell you anything. Anything at all. <laughs> just Jarella, she there's orcs coming. Uh anything at all, just let me go. I, I would like to go over there and just coup de gras it. Just straight up. Oh. No. What does that mean? I wanna st- <laughs> yeah, I wanna stop that. To start a coup. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> can we start just a coup? Like, coup de gras means to finish them off. He like, wants to like, he's being held, it. I can just take a sword and just okay. to the oh. neck. I wanna st- all right. Well, is that what you're doing? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right, so this the one nope. head is just like no ma- like just let me live. Like there's orcs coming. Like Jarella, oh, like, I'll give I, you I, anything I, you want on Jarella. Yeah, um, and you just come up and just take it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. God, is the other head still alive? No. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! What the hell? <laughs> Well, no, you what the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we what the hell? We had the questions hell? for that thing. We don't need to talk to the... <laughs> we do we need to find out what's going on. Well, clearly there's orcs coming. That's, it, it, honestly, if you wanted to beg harder, he would have given us saucier information, but that was probably well, okay, the sauciest right. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. I want to pick up the, the stone. Uh-huh. I'm going to, uh, like, rip it. Do I know what it is? He's just uh, pulling it apart. <laughs> uh, so... The, on the stone, uh, it just, like, in nice, uh, like, light blue, uh, it says Jarella on the front, um, and then call ended. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Um, is it still magical? Is it still uh, Is it just a rock? It's basically just a rock. Love it. Okay. I want to, wait, can I, can I see the, the yeah, I'll, I'll give you the I'm rock. I'm certain how sending stone. Thank you. Uh, can I roll... <laughs> Arcana? Like a arcana, yeah, an arcana, arcana to see if I can work the, the sure. foam rock. 
The full one. Okay, uh, that is a solid 22. Sure. Uh, you see that it's a it's a it's a one way stone. Okay. So unless you had like a high level high high level like wizard or arcanist, um, what is an arcanist? Like someone who studies magic. You mean like an artificer? Yeah, yeah, artificer. That's the word. Yeah. Um, you'd be able to like rework it to be able to like go to other things, but you can tell it's just like, it's a sending stone that only goes to one other person, okay. and you can tell that that is Jirel, Okay. The, the kobold sorcerer of the kobold clan. Can I just like... You think she's a high-level wizard? I'm just going to slip it into my pocket. Sure. Yeah. All right. Can I search the two-headed thing? We gotta stick to the plan. We can't it go tackle kobolds. I'll take the dagger. And also a drop rock. I like rocks. Oh, and no, that's, sorry, that's an action. It can drop a rock on you because it has wings. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't have rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. Really so, that rock. Sorry, I misread it. <laughs> no more tackling kobolds. Stick to the plan. Do this before the orcs get here. Tiny mad angry. Also, maybe grab the fireworks if there's going to be an army of orcs. Yeah. What clan? Clan, uh, clan, uh, uh orc. No, 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 clan. What oh, clan? clan. Oh. Okay, so are we gonna? Are we still gonna go to the top and get the orc? What time is it? Uh, yeah, how long is this? Let's just say that only took like five minutes. Okay, then yeah, we're we're still going. We're still going. Let's go. Well, you, they, you just tackled them. Like, you just noticed it and just immediately tackled them and killed them. Like, if, guess, that, yeah. if that took longer than five minutes, honestly. You know what? I, I'm fine with that. It probably only took like 90 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> took longer to roll the initiative. An, an, ex <laughs> an expository uh, Basil exposition I was supposed to have was just Murder. <laughs> so, um, so let's, we don't deal with kobolds. Right? <laughs> at least we're good at killing. Well, let's well let's go up the hill then and go yeah. get the archer. So, are all of us going, or is it just like a couple of us? Because I think it should just only be a couple of us. Because I, I, mean, I think like a mob of, of adventurers getting to the hill is gonna. I mean, the thing is, the thing is, is could a couple of you could a couple of us take the archer alone? Yes. I can take them. I think we send the two gentlemen here who know how to disguise themselves as other people okay. so that they don't get caught. Just in case. Perfect. We uh, stay here for now. The crew. Why do I want to say crew? Well, uh, that's the wrong villain. Um, Jerome. Jer <laughs> the, 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 the person you saved, she's like. Oh yeah, so the the uh, the archer, she is a high elf. She's not like a super super strong high elf, but I think she can't be like charmed or slept, like. Yeah. I think they sleep. It's kind of creepy, honestly. Go charm, hit on the head. Listen, listen. Okay, we don't need to we don't need to get racist out here. Okay, let's calm that down. Anyway. So so the two that disguise themselves. It's actually go. just advantage on saving throws. <laughs> if we're yeah. being specific. Yeah. Just yes. throwing that one out. Yeah, so, so, so the two that can disguise themselves go, while well, the rest of us stay back, and if, if we hear them screaming for help, that's when we go. No, we stay... Well, yes, that is one contingency in which we do go, is if they get themselves in trouble. But otherwise, we wait yeah. until it's time to go bury the fireworks, and I'm we go up there. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking at the book at this point, like, making sure it's an icon. It's like, we stay... <laughs> I still, I go in. We stay, no, you stay here, big you guy. Stay here. You stay wow. here with us. There might be more kobolds. Ooh. Yeah. You got more more guts to play in. Yes. Okay. More guts to play in. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's Jason Bourne. My God. <laughs> okay. So I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start stealthing. That's my goal. Okay. Before we before we get too close, I want to be stealth, stealthy. Uh -huh. That is a thirteen plus stealth sixteen. I will join him in that. 
Don't fail me. Thank you. 18. Okay. Um, <laughs> I can only trust the dice so much. <laughs> you can still fail me. Yeah, no, <laughs> you, uh, uh, I'm going to say the from from where you guys need to start stealthing to like the top is 60. How, how quick do you move? 30. 30. It's 90 feet. <laughs> so three rounds. Um, yeah, three rounds. Well, uh, it would only be... It would only be a round and a half if you took a full round of movement. So, if you want to... It's going to take at least two. Okay. Uh, the scout, uh, let's say, the scout doesn't notice anything the first time. So we need to roll again, essentially. Is what you're yes. Saying. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, no. Did you fail me? Yeah. Okay, let's that's see. A, that's a four. I got a 16. Pain mark. So, you step on a twig comically loud. <laughs> <laughs> you step on a twig yeah, and that st- causes you to run into a tree and it just falls over. <laughs> you, you, you step on a twig and then like a firework falls out of your bag and you just like start and just like, oh, oh god, no. And you're just like, it falls in such a way that it looks like it's going to hit a rock and just like go up and you're like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> No! Oh, it didn't go off. <laughs> and yeah, it just but by lands, that point, it, it just lands there. And um, so you notice a scout, uh, a high elf scout, on the top of the um, on the up the top of the hill, and she uh, is like, "Hey, who are you? What, what are you doing here? <clears throat> Why are you alone here?" I got Rafine. Who? <laughs> Rafine. Yeah, uh, should that name mean something? Yeah, she's a part of your gang. She was in the Grimshackle prison. Yeah, hey, I do remember hearing something about an intern being, like, imprisoned or something. She told me your camp was around here. Oh, I'm just yeah, trying to collect a bounty. It's right over there, and she points to the camp. <laughs> oh! So it's not up this hill. No. Wow. Why are you here? Uh, the oh, camp's be, over there. Uh, and she pulls out her bow. It's because if, and she points to the kobolds, if those little tricksters over there get up to anything suspicious and double cross us, I'm supposed to, and she just like super fluidly <laughs> like whips an arrow out and just like shoots it over to the, uh, like the middle of their, their camp. I'm supposed to do that, but light the arrow on fire. Oh, so she can do it without, like, relighting the arrow. She can just do it. So how do you light the arrow on fire? Uh, she pulls out uh. she pulls out some hemp and a little bit of oil and, like, oh. puts that. And, it's like, and then I light this on fire and shoot it over there. And then she kind of looks at me and is like, what do I do with wet hemp? <laughs> <laughs> huh. Okay. I, I'm going to start walking down the hill. Okay. But I also want to light that on fire. Just straight up. <laughs> I want to cast press the digitation and light it on fire. For okay. okay. For why? Because I don't know. It might be fun. Maybe she'll shoot the arrow. It's kind of like the goal anyway. Okay. <laughs> sure. Cool. It's on fire. What do I see? Or, you know, I kind of like do like one of these. Mm-hmm. Uh, she she's just kind of like. Why did you just light this arrow on fire? I'm just helping you out. All right. Thanks. Keep an eye out. I guess. Orcs. Believe. We don't have any orcs, so it's all humans and elves. Isn't that the problem? I mean, <laughs> as you're slowly walking yeah. down there. <laughs> yeah. As I'm just confidently marching towards the, <laughs> towards the camp. Um. So she just kind of when like, I when I'm out of eye shot though I'm just gonna like go back to the sure she just kind of like like confusedly shakes her head and then just like walks back up to the to the top of the hill and like resumes her overlook watching right, whatever so I'm <laughs> sixty feet up right yeah okay she has not noticed you thank God. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to thank God. All right. I'm 
have no one to talk to, or can I talk to them? I mean, you can't talk to us. I mean, you can't really you're, talk to them. You're on your own. Your All own right. buddy you just got basically yelled at and told to go home. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm going to uh, try and move the last 30 feet in stealth. Sure. All right. Good luck. Literally, good luck. 15? That beats it. Oh, nice. uh, you get up there. Okay. Um, <laughs> give me one, one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a dagger. <laughs> Just check real quick. I also just use a sword. I mean, <laughs> I, frankly, I have a dagger. A gun, you'd be fine. <laughs> All right, I have a dagger. I just don't want to. I mean, I don't have much. I'm a sorcerer. I don't want to create an explosion oh. on the. Yeah, that's on, fair. on the hell. So that's an understandable <laughs> moment. I'm gonna also just like pickpocket or bow. <laughs> uh, that's not I mean, too not real. <laughs> This isn't Skyrim. No, you can't just Skyrim. Going for the clothes <laughs> off of people. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try and. Uh, do the thing that Mark said earlier with the fancy yeah. words for killing. Assassinate? Oh, coup de gras? Yes, thank you. Coup de gras. It's, it's, it's easier. It, yeah. Is that it, actually what a coup de gras is? Yeah, it's it's literally just finishing off something. But oh, oh I'm not finishing right. off okay. implies the fact that it was down to be. Yes. With, okay. Which well, tends to be the problem you with about that. a coup de grace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and try to you know <laughs> slit the throat and you know. Uh, what am I rolling here for that? Um, Performance? Performance! <laughs> I would say it's probably going to be an opposed strength. To just slit her throat. Yeah, well, to usually it's just like a tackle. Well, well, are, you, what are, you, are you trying to kill her, or are you trying to, like... What are you, what are you trying to do? Kill her. Okay. What are you going for, the neck or, he's like, gotta the, get some, the uh, neck? I guess you, an, get a, you get advantaged on initiation. Or on, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, you get, she doesn't know he's there. Yeah, yeah, you get advantage on the attack roll, but you don't get any bonus damage because you're not a rogue. Yeah, okay. so you just get advantage on your attack. And what's attack rolling for strength? It's just your d20 plus either strength or dex, depending yeah. on... Wasn't it just your damage? Or? No, we're just going to do damage. So so for well, daggers, they're finesse weapons, so you can yeah. use your agility or your or, strength. Okay. Or your um, dexterity or strength. Dexterity. I can't do my performance. No. Okay. Yeah. That's not that way. Oh, that's oh wait, is performance dexterity? It's not. Uh, no, it's charisma. Uh, <laughs> uh, if I could scroll down. I think that's what bards do. They use their charisma to attack. Hmm? Well, for spells, but. Well, for spells, yeah. <laughs> and also in general. Yeah, yeah. Well, when they're slapping people with their banjo. I mean, I mean <laughs> you have to make a convincing yeah. argument that you were just lost. Uh, yes. I mean, too. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I think. It's as you right. as you have your banjo like ready to strike, yeah. like, I was lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a 15. I thought you were my mom. Oops. And a, okay, well, 15 at advantage. And then damage? Or does it that hit? hit? It hits. All right, we are we are. I think grooving. the dagger's just a d4 plus. Dex. D4 plus one, isn't it? You know, I got the four. All right, All so right. I did five damage. Five damage. You did five damage. Okay. Well, I mean, I tried to do the. I mean, it's the most it can do in the neck. Well, is there any way around that? So yeah, you, you actually take like... disadvantage when you go for a specific body part. So but it would have. It would have still hit. Was, but I don't know if you get any bonus. It does feel though. weird that you're not able to just like one shot yeah, someone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He snuck up to because you're not a rogue. <laughs> you could if you were a rogue. Well, I mean, but like, okay, if you're. No matter what class you're, if you take a dagger, if I sneak up to you and just stab you in the neck with a dagger, it's not going to do a quarter of your health points. It's going to well, do all of them. <laughs> well, good luck, Darian. All right. Um, how, how, how did if you how make did enough this... noise? Uh, she. So you, she, you go up. You you sneak up on her and you just. Oh, uh, you. What do you do? You explain. <laughs> it's it's definitely just going to be a. A nice. Kind of, you know, it's a little chunk in there, but you uh-huh. know, I get through it. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm gonna just slowly lay down the body so none of the blood gets on the uniform. Okay. Yeah. Um, you do the thing across the neck, and it's like you like completely gash it. Okay. Um, okay. and then she's like, "What the hell?" Um, and she. Uh, it's her dying breath. <laughs> 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 Proceeds to get all of her stuff to get her lights up here. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways. Uh, she goes, what the hell? You're not a kobold. Um, and while she's bleeding profusely... <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> uh, uh, she... 
Like, can we roll for initiative roll here? For initiative. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hold I on. Guess, I was like, hold on. And also roll she, since I'm not too far. Still, <laughs> she, she doesn't like scream, but she does. Uh, With what focus? Loudly <laughs> exhales to the point where he knows that something has happened. <laughs> I, I rolled a five. I rolled a seven. Uh, I guess uh, Kai Taran Neil. Who's <laughs> going first? Go first. And exhale. <laughs> well, um, she's gonna do a little more than <laughs> exhale. She uh, That's why you're here. Only has a longbow. Thank God. It Thank God. Sort of... <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> what kind of trash NPC <laughs> did you <laughs> roll? Um, so I guess she tries to grapple you because you're right there. And... Can I try and kick her neck in half? That's <laughs> 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 my next word. Uh, <laughs> dispenser. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Just a, finish the rip. Does a 12 hit open her up? Does a 12 hit me? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Um, on my armor? Yeah, your EC. No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, oh. she just kind of like, she's so surprised by getting her neck slit open <laughs> that, that she like tries to flail at you and it just like kind of bounces off. Okay. But like, how the hell is this person alive? <laughs> I'm in shock. I'll uh, have you know. It's now, it's now your go. All right. I'm going to uh, shoot Actually, her again. Wait, what did you roll for AC? Uh, higher than him. Okay. Yeah, it's your go. You mean initiative? Yeah. Right. <laughs> what did I roll for AC? <laughs> I wish I rolled AC. My armor's a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a magic one. A one? Yeah. Can I, can I honestly just like try and pin her on the ground? Sure. Upside down, like where she's facing the dirt. You sure you don't want to stab her again? You have a dagger. Yeah, <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and, you know. Just kind of like, can we, you know. Like let's just try and finish this. I don't, yeah. 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 <laughs> just, All right. Give me all. Go for the 19. This time. Is that, that hits. All right, and a good old three. <laughs> all right. A hit, a hit, a very palpable hit. Can we we're see moving back what's up going the, uh, on? Uh, or you, are we just oblivious? You kind of, like, you guys, uh, the rest of you, you kind of see that, like, all you've <laughs> seen so far is you see him, like, or you don't, you can't tell who it is, but you see someone, like, um, <laughs> sneak up on someone else, like, go for it, like, a, like, a, an, a, like, they get really close and go for it, and, like, a comical amount of blood, <laughs> like, spurts up in the air. While it's burning, uh, <laughs> they're just turning around. And yeah, <laughs> They like wrestle. turn around and they're trying to wrestle. Oh no! Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. Love it. All right. Uh, I'm going to assume you took your 30 feet down. All right. Well, I mean, is it combat uh, over? You tell me. I don't know how far I made it. You made it. You, you you made it. You used your entire movement for a turn, and you're watching. Whatever the hell is going on. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. the best yeah. attempt the sorcerer I'm has. Going, I'm going back up the hill, but I'm not the there to help you. Explosion. Yeah. So you're you're able to watch. How far am I? <laughs> you're, you're ten. Let's say you're you're within striking distance next turn. Okay. Are you gonna try and attack me? Okay. I'm so sure I'm, I'm still deal, sixty yeah. feet out, is my sixty-one feet out. Yeah. Okay. Well, you. Because I have spells that go sixty. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> Do you need line of sight on them? Uh. If the target can hear you. <laughs> I don't know how good she's at hearing right now. She's kind of losing a lot of. Blood. I think it's more of a me thing. Where, where did you stab the second time? Dead zone. Dead Is zone. That the ear. <laughs> I said go for this. this. Hey, and then I gave it a good twist with that extra one, you know. It's just a whole. For some reason matters. <laughs> Am I you, close enough to... Do you need line of sight? I, as long as she can hear me, no. All right, sure. <laughs> Go for whatever you're trying to do. Vicious mockery it is. She needs to roll a uh, wisdom saving throw. All right. Vicious mockery. Yeah, I'm going to tell her... Just do that, damage? I'm going to tell her that she's trash. She got a yeah. pie. You'd have loved it. All right, she takes a d4 of damage and... <laughs> Mentally. ...has disadvantage on the next attack roll. Okay. <laughs> We're doing four damage. All right, all right. Mentally. Um, it's now her go. Um, she is very confused. Um, she's bleeding out of every, everywhere. Um, she can barely see. There's just so much blood. Ooh, just the vicious mockery. I'm going to tell her should have looked out for the orcs. <laughs> next, next attack roll is with disadvantage? Yeah. 
I thought I put an end to this. Uh, so she like tries to swing at you and just trips and falls on her face. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God, because I'm just like in so much shock right now that she's not dead. He's wondering how he hasn't finished the job already. <laughs> I'm like looking like, at this This is the dagger. worst rogue in the history of rogues. That's wait, all I have to wait, say. Wait, wait, question. I'm not a is rogue. <laughs> Uh, she is, like, she falls down to her, like, knees, and she's, like, starting to get up. No, she's not. And I'm stopping this. <laughs> this is yeah. not it's a This wall it's she's down. It's your go. <laughs> Step her in the back of the head. Yeah. Oh, my God. Just right in the back. Wait, wait, what do you get advantage for that? I need, sure. uh, oh. Go, go for advantage on this next. Honestly, I think just you shake her again. <laughs> okay. Go for advantage at those points. Just. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Just kill her. <laughs> Can this? Yeah. Right, Please right. finish her. It's. It's like a wounded animal. God, he nat one. <laughs> you have. Uh, you have advantage though. Yeah, you have advantage. I have advantage. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, thank God. Fourteen. Uh, that hits. With a five. Thank goodness. Uh, finish her. Jeez. Fine. I just want her dead. <laughs> However, dead works in this scenario. <laughs> Dagger. Go for the nose. So here, here's what you do. You, so you, you kick out your arm from under, or you kick out her arm from underneath her, and then she falls over, and you just shank her in the neck again. Listen, what you do, like you, you, uh, how I imagine this Please. happened in, in a very short amount of time is, you like snuck up on her and like tried to slit her throat, and then she like, like turned around, like throat flap half like going, tries to swing at you, misses. You stab her again, like try to turn to like see where he's at, um, and then just get like hit again with just like a like a soft fist. So you, you turn around and just stab her a third time, and she's finally dead. <laughs> Thank God, that's all I needed in this encounter. After taking the absolute mental trauma, should have looked out for the orcs. Oh man, I want to take. So I, I want to seeing that the fighting is over. I want to grab a backpack full of explosives uh -huh. <laughs> and just start walking up the hill, like kind of like whistling to myself. Just you know, have I would like to time. grab the bow. And first, okay, you get a plus one longbow. Does is there any ammo for it? Sure. There's got to yeah. be at least one. Well, <laughs> please, I guess not. If she, she fires her only. Really however, bad. however much a standard amount of arrows like, you buy is. Like yeah. Sure. Okay. She used There's one. nineteen. One's yeah. yeah 19. One's in the uh, in the camp. The camp. In the camp. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's we can so find funny. it later. Don't worry. It's just, we we would find it later. It's like stab you like one. Is Bo uh, is Bo Dex? Bo's Dex. Yes. Right? Yes. yes. Uh, you also have a um, fire arrow kit <laughs> for one fire arrow or like yeah. more. Let's, let's say go with hemp and oil. Do you have Do you have the stats for the? Like the bow, is it like a D6 a day of damage? It's a should be able to just add it. D10. You can just add equipment. 1D10 plus X plus 1. Piercing. So, like, while that was being acted out, no one in either camp suspected anything. Uh, it's like that. half an hour until the, like, Meeting. the whole everything's supposed to go on. Um, you guys could hear some like preparations being made. You guys down, uh, not on the hill, uh, can hear some mufflings in the uh, like kobold camp of what sound like die being rolled, and then like cheers or like booze. <gasps> God, I should went there. I've been waiting dice. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then what? I, what I'm just lucky. sounds kind of like giant badgers fighting? Uh, you don't know what that sounds like. But like, There's if some you were big to creatures guess, going, like that's what that's what's going on. Um, so, so, so I'm just imagining like there's like the like illegal dog fighting in this place, but with like badgers. The cobalt's are living a life. Um, and like then you just hear from like the other from like the human camp, uh, just like people um, like drilling. Uh, what and I like I setting up tents and cooking and like normal, normal. So, how do you mean drilling? Normal lame like, stuff. Like, uh, like, not like drilling Drill. into the like ground, but like military like army drill. drill. Ah, yeah. gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to take the bag of explosives. Let's say like 
10 pounds, I guess. Mm. And I want to go up to the top of the hill with it and bury it where the people are going to be meeting. Well, do you have a show? Mm, I have. I'm going to say that that whole thing, it is now like 11... 25, 11, 30. So you have half an that hour. That means we can take 20 half an hour. Dick. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, but then we, we only have to re uh-huh. it. Would I be faster digging? Sure. I mean, we only have to put it in shallow. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go up there with one my, pound my fireworks. Pick axe and show so wait, than... they're meeting in front of like the statue, right? Yeah. With like a waterfall? Uh-huh. We can dig this out with our hands. Like, it doesn't have to be that deep. Yeah. I don't know. Is it rocky? Yes. Is it muddy? So like the top, it's like, it, it's not, it, it's a very like pointy hill. So like the top of the hill is only like maybe uh, like medium uh, like, areas width. It's a circle with a diameter of ten feet. Oh okay, yeah, um, that makes sense. Meeting areas. Width. Yeah. So yeah, no, no, go, convenient go meeting area. Yeah, convenient meeting, meeting area. Yeah, and there's like a, a statue in the middle, um, and there's like water coming out of it, and that's what's creating the waterfall, which is relatively noisy, but like. Is that water water? It's not a lot of water, but it does disguise, let's say you were to stab an elf three times. <laughs> <laughs> any, any, like, any like sound of that, uh, it gets muffled by this waterfall. So like the sound of us burying 10 pounds yeah. of explosives won't alert anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so I'll, I'll, just, I'll just start heading up there with my, with my pickaxe and shovel. I'm already there, there, I guess. Um, I guess I'm the only one that downed yet, because I was told not to go up. Well, that is fair. If you, want, if you want to come up, <laughs> please you formally invite him, him or he will not come up. That's yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta like grab his arm and pull him. It's like, come on, come on, come on, come on this way, come on. <laughs> <laughs> if you grab my arm, I'm gonna sort of grab you by the back and just start carrying you up. <laughs> um, okay, I guess I'm gonna prep a fire arrow. That's what I'm gonna do while they're digging. Okay. And also, I guess disguise myself like this elf and like. Put the body somewhere. Also, uh, that's that's, that's going to be my job is uh, body cleanup. I think you should make someone else do body cleanup because that's a lot of work in twenty minutes. I'll throw a body downhill. Is it well, not downhill? Not downhill. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe have someone else do it. Yeah, uh, actually, okay. Well, do you want to just throw the body into the camp? Why would that help? <laughs> and throw the body into the cobalt. Can, can. It needs no. It needs to be a hidden body. That okay. Because okay. 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 remember, I will prep everything. Okay. And then when we're about to leave, or when they're about to leave, they can just huck the body on his shoulder and they can walk away. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna okay. be my plan. Okay. Yeah. Right. So um, keeping so this body. Give me a disguise. Uh, is it? A, you just disguise and then it's perception checks. On Should be able one. to just disguise as what you saw. Yeah. Okay. I. I yeah. Yeah. So sure, you disguise. You take twenty minutes and yeah, you can just take twenty in blue face or whatever. I don't know. Or elf if face? not, I can do it. It's are high it? elves? Yeah. I mean, I'm already half elf, so I don't need to uh, worry about the ears or anything. Is there room on top of this hill for us to hide? Oh, I just have to look like a girl, huh? That is a little tougher. Now you have to role play like uh, this. I can <laughs> change. I can make myself look entirely different. I mean, I, I could silent image over myself, but I don't know. I mean, all they're going to really be concerned about is the yeah, flying I'm not arrow. Gonna, yeah, right, right, they're they're going to be like, oh, is that a dude? <laughs> you, got the, you got the impression that uh, this, wear a this elf me. was very, like, stoic and silent. So, like, if you just... Like, we're up in your watchtower. Yeah, if I just have the bow and I'm like this... And in the back, like, everyone would be like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's... Normal. Okay. Aren't, aren't you up in a watchtower anyways? It's not like people are gonna get a good look at you. I don't know if I'm in a tower. Well, I'm not in a tower. It's like more like on the side. Not, of yeah. Just like, oh, yeah, that's um, um, the There are there. like two paths, like not real paths, but like so sort of paths from each camp going up the, the east and west sides of the mound, respectively. Um, so, and then the waterfall is down the south side, um, and you guys came from the north. Okay. So you could keep hiding on that side. Uh, that would be that's like the only hiding spot, really, because yeah. everywhere. I think else it'd be is. pretty sketchy to do. So I'd rather just have the explosives be the explosives. Yeah, I wouldn't be near the I, so yeah. I'm gonna. That's all I'm saying. This isn't me trying to like tell you what to do. This is just like okay. I was they're, like, they're going to come up the east and the west sides, and there's a waterfall on the okay. south side. So so, so okay. let's just let's just go Unless back you can hide. breathe underwater. Like, well, I can shape water. 
I mean, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, at this point, we just we just, we just add the pair and the things we just go back down and hide. That's yeah, right. But how are we gonna? I guess with the flaming arrow, is that how we're well, the flaming arrow, or well, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot the arrow thing. and then I'm gonna press the digitation. Yeah. And that's gonna take twelve seconds. So for what? Hopefully that just goes well. Or you can well, no, he was in. We can press to digitate. Actually, catch something on fire. Is it yeah? You can easy? instantly snuff out a candle or okay. light it or a torch. So I assume so the same have, like, happens a wick with the just like sticking out of the ground. Yeah, just a okay. solitary wick. Okay. Yeah, or we can have. Uh, I can just cast my fire bolt. Yeah. If you think it would be better, you're welcome to try it. I mean, we have... Because you have... do have to hit that. Yes. We can have true. yours <laughs> as a backup, just in case. Because he can do the fireball fast. But the thing is, is I could also blow everyone up. Yeah, because I'm well, also no. going to be up there. Just keep that in mind. That's you know, the 12 we're... seconds is baked into me also running. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. We should give him some time to get out of you know, I don't think anyone's going to be able to make it that far in the time that it takes for the thing to go off. But, you know, maybe... And they probably have a similar amount of move speed as I do, but they'll be confused. Okay. So. <laughs> you just pretend it and back <laughs> Yes, it'll be a lot going on, so so should be okay. I, so I guess now that the explosives are primed and buried and ready, uh, I'm just going to retreat and go hang out with Brandon and oh, yeah. Rathine again. All right. So you guys, um, I guess you you guys are just gonna. Yeah, vibe until, yeah, until, until something happens. Until yeah. happens. Yeah. Yeah. I'm smoking my uh, pipe. We're gonna be the kid from The Incredibles. Are you, is, are you up there or? I'm gonna wait around just in case he can't get his lighting action to go off. Okay. I'm just in stealth. Okay. Um. And but you're up there disguised. Yep, I'm up there disguised stoically with my arrow. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, well, you I guys... Like, I don't like those rules. I know, right? Uh, you, you guys, um... Just, you know, most of you just kind of hurry down. You, you see where the sun is hitting the grass and can tell that it's noon. And you see, you're, you're hearing, like, motion in the human camp of, you know, people getting into formation and... Uh, you see, like, two lines of human soldiers, like, lined up, and the party of negotiators led by Sam Krulek is just, like, walking through this, like, honor guard up to the top of the hill, um, and they start at, like, 11.55 and then make it to the oh top of the hill, like, Right at noon, like these guys are on, like on time, um, down to like the second. Um, and then, like while that's happening, you just hear like hooting and hollering from the other <laughs> camp. Uh, like banjos just kind of like, yeah, banjos, um, and just like a lot of like, uh, um, like jeering. Uh, and like, yeah, go get on, you know, there's dumb humans, blah, blah, blah. Um, one guy is shouting blah, 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 he doesn't really know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they, you know, they're a, a couple minutes late and you can see that like, Sand is like visibly annoyed at having to deal with this. Um, and so, you know, they get, they finally get to the top. You, you finally see Jirella. Um, she is a dragonborn. Um, I guess you're the only one who can see this. The rest of you are, like, kind of seeing what's going on. Uh, Jirella, she's a dragonborn. She's, like, 5'2", brunette. Uh, <laughs> dragonborns have hair? 5'2", yeah. right? is a dragonborn? No, she's, she's, she's huge. <laughs> um, and she is a sorcerer. She has a whole bunch of kobolds behind her. Um, and you can kind of tell that she is Five meters. the leader of this, and there's no delegation. She is the like she's only the one in charge, whereas like Sand has himself and then like two lieutenants right behind him. And then a couple of guards right behind them. Okay. Um, and Jarella is basically just, you know, swaggering up to the top. There's some kobolds there because they have to be. Um, <laughs> one of them has like weird bright pink scales on <laughs> one side and then like green on the other. Um, and the other one is just fur. 
just 100% fur to the point where you don't even know if there's a kobold under there. It's just, it's like the thing from... Uh, <laughs> Adam's uh, Family? Yeah, Adam Family. No, the thing's the hand, right? The, 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 the uncle that's all hair. Yeah. Um, Did they just add Uncle Fester? That, yeah. 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 <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so they start getting into it. You guys can't hear anything of what they're saying. You, you can. Um, no one seems to notice, like, you're there. Like, Zarella just kind of, like, glances over at you and is like, whatever. Um, <laughs> Your arms are crossed. You're just like... No, I have, I have the bow cock Yeah, already, and, uh... Because I have oh, to. No, uh, uh, San Krulak, like, like, just, like, Sorry. full military, just, like, walks past you. He's like, okay, yeah, I put you up there, like, an hour ago. You're still there. Good Great. work, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so they start getting into it. And, like, the first just, like, 15 minutes of this is just both of them just talking just, like, directly over each other. Over each other of Love just, it. like grievances and none of them are like important it's just like well on this day there was a uh, a caravan carrying these four goods to the city and now you took it but that was marked as ours and we had a band and it was just just that just it's just like gross bureaucratic and, nonsense just bureaucratic nonsense and Okay, I, I guess after about 15 or so minutes... Wait, no. The plan was to let them go back once and then come back again. Right? No. Well, it's, well, it's yeah, you're in charge of the Yeah, alone. I know. I know. I'm alone. Okay. So, um... I'm going to say after about 15 well, or so minutes. Uh, you, you will, uh, just start taking just mental damage listening to... Just like you can't even make out like anything that's ha like being said is just like avalanches of words just from like both sides just saying nothing. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like turn towards like the cobalt cam mm. and just yell orcs <laughs> light the light the the arrow. And shoot it towards the other way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so I'm shooting the arrow towards the camp. Okay. You know, as per the use. Um, and whenever I get the chance, I'm fucking running. And I'm casting prestidigitation on that stupid <laughs> little wick. Um, so. Assuming that Darian either hits or doesn't hit. Huh? Let's just assume he hits. Because uh, otherwise, this is just going to be real weird. Okay. Um, cool. Because otherwise, it would be, you'd have to be like, hey, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, you do that. Sand is like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> he turns and he's like, what is it? He, like, he starts just starting to chew you out. And he's just like, well, I'm doing the biggest diploma, uh, diplomacy mission of my life. You're here just absolutely like trying to derail everything. Why did you shoot that? Now go down there and make sure that and uh, make sure that you know our forces don't get assembled. We don't want to derail this mission right now because you think you're more important and your fantasy of orcs all this time, every single night, you think there's orcs somewhere. Orcs, orcs, orcs. That's all I hear out of you. Just every single day. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. <laughs> I'm running. And like you, you. Um, he, I'm glad that the panic of me running is disguised by him <laughs> chewing me out. Um, he does notice that you cast it. Um, he does not notice that like he just sees you wick. like like cast pre prestidigitation by like whatever you do um, to do that. Um, and he doesn't even, like, notice that something's on fire. Neither does anyone else. <laughs> um, uh, Mission accomplished, boys! All right! Let's go! Let's go. Um, so, you're booking it as 
<laughs> just as fast as you can down this mountain. And you're seeing, um, like, it, in all a credit to uh, San Krulex, like, his, they saw the fire arrow and just, like, they were, like, they're halfway up this mountain already. They're, like, they're, they're seeing you and they're like, oh, they're coming, he's coming to, like, rally the forces, like, yep. we'll, we'll get those kobolds. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull one of these. <laughs> um, so, so while you're booking it down the hill, um, and while, uh, they're coming up, and you start to hear, like, mostly just, like, like, Sand is still just screaming at you. Uh, he's like, you tell those all those soldiers to turn around right now. Like, I don't need anyone here. We need to just make sure, make sure that no one gets here. Um, and Jarell is just like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> um, and, like, right when you make it to, like, the halfway point, uh, roll for dexterity. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> just what I like to hear. <laughs> Cool guys don't look at explosions. I'm not turning back. <laughs> uh, that's an 18. Okay, so you hear the most deafening sound <laughs> from behind you, um, and it you uh, you like stumble a little bit, but mostly you're looking cool, uh, <laughs> running, just sprinting down this mountain. Um, God, the, I love it. <laughs> like, the, the soldiers running past you are, um, like, most of them are just, like, you can see in their eyes that they're terrified <laughs> of just whatever is happening, and they, like, flinch and all, like, duck for cover, um, but, like, they still, like, they, they get up and, like, continue advancing. Um, Good on them. Like, a couple of them are just, like, they're down, and they're just like hunched, and they're like, uh uh-uh, uh, uh uh, not going up there. <laughs> Don't know what that was. <laughs> um, and. I'm just gonna yell orcs, just also. Just. Shit. Sure. Because. I'm just sitting. I'm really banking on the fact that there would be orcs at some point. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> I'm just There's sitting. no orcs, like, I, I feel real dumb. I'm just sitting at camp with Brandon watching the explosion. Like a little, little popcorn. Just... I'm just like, I'm just like ready. I'm, I'm just, just looking at it back. like Elmo looking at the new thing right now. It's quite the explosion. It's staring. <laughs> He's like, I wonder who lives, you know? You ever... It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like Hopefully like, none of them. We just yeah, detonated okay. 10 pounds of explosive. <laughs> if they're at least all deaf. <laughs> Bare <laughs> They're missing some toes, I hope. Okay, I was gonna say anyone that's standing directly over it does not have any feet. <laughs> Sounds like there's a lot of DM math going on. That's a good thing usually. Yeah, right. It's DM math that he isn't like. So I'm gonna need you to roll. All right. So. All right. Hi guys. Uh, hold on, just need to fudge a little math, otherwise this doesn't really work. Uh, <laughs> you're not supposed to admit when you, that. When you roll a 10d6 and you're like, huh, that wasn't really a lot of damage. <laughs> um, hmm. What's well, more problem is one of these has a lot more hit points than the other. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jarell would be like that, huh? And this make, makes it a little weird when one of them just gets blown up and the other one's still like, standing. <laughs> it's just like the terminal. Can't, can't have that, really. That doesn't make sense. Um, so, so, like, you guys, you're just still running, just as fast as you can. Do you stop at any time? Nope. All right. I'm just throwing <laughs> orcs and keep on trucking. Um, uh... Uh, Kados, uh, like, you saw him, like, go into stealth, and he's still there. Oh, okay. Just, he's still stealth until he comes back. Yeah, wherever he uh, decided wherever to go. He, he just disappeared. Uh, <laughs> you, you lost track of him. Yeah, he's he's plane stepping so, again. He is so stealth right now that he's, no one, he's even stealth IRL. Yeah. Damn. Um, he's just gone. That's a nat 20 if I've ever heard one. 
totally legitimately. He, he, he went into stealth. Did anyone hear it like he said anything? What know. did he say to each um, He point said that he needed to take a phone call. Oh, oh okay. okay. Someone about a very important phone call. So. I see. Okay. Well, he's stealthing. At he, least he's that's very stealthy. Easy. Um, so you see uh, the rest of me, you see like. Um, the, the arrow being shot, um, like, instantaneously, just, like, a massive amount of humans just, like, sprinting out of the gates of their camp, just, like, up the hill, and then just a full-on mushroom cloud, <laughs> um, but, like, sparkling, because they're fireworks. Uh, from the top, you see all of, like, the, like, retainers and guards just get, like, pushed off of the mountain, basically. Like, they go flying. Um, you're running, you just see, like, a kobold just, like, <laughs> just, like, splats down next to you. Fully dead. 100% cooked if you wanted a snack. Um, um, <laughs> some kobold jerky? Is some kobold it the jerky. green and pink one? Because I was kind of rooting for him. <laughs> um, you know what the hair one? Uh, like, all of, all of, uh, Saved correct for Lex, like retainers, like they like tried to brace, um, so they didn't get pushed off, but they got like super injured. They're just like on the ground, just like dying. <laughs> Missing part. Um, and you, you once like, like a little bit of axe tears, <laughs> you see just like uh, Sand Krulek just like staggering a little bit, but he's still up. Um, and so is Jarella, like, across from each other, and you just see them, like, Jarella, uh, she has a staff, and you just start, and, um, like, Sand pulls a sword, and they just, like, they don't know who the hell is responsible for what just happened, but, like, it's definitely the other person. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Could not have gone better. Nailed it. So, Jarella calls down just like, she is pissed off. She just calls down a bolt of lightning. Um, oh, Jesus. And just like blasts uh, San Krulek. He, like, you see, like, you guys are far away, but you see his skeleton. Like, it does that, like, like <laughs> dark thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah, like, you see uh... the skeleton. Um, and then he just falls, just, like, face first um, onto the ground. You assume just dead. Um, One can only imagine. And then, as that's happening, like, all of Sand's... Uh, Minions, not minions, but like mercs or whatever you want to call them. They finally crest the hill and they see Jarella just like smiting <laughs> with like the wrath of God, their leader, and they're just like for sand, and they just charge Jarella, and she just thunderclaps them off the mountain. <laughs> you see her like. I kind of want her to win. She's kind of cool. Uh, she tries to cast thunder. Wave. Thunder wave um, at at you know the these soldiers and just misses just every time until these soldiers get up to her. How many ones can you roll? <laughs> Another one. Oh, okay, that and then then this one soldier just takes a, a spear and just fully just like spears her up really Jeez. impressively because she's she's like eight feet tall. Um, it sounds like a power two. vacuum if I've ever seen one. That's and, awesome. Uh, like, so, spears her, she's dead, and then they, like, crest the hill, run across it, and just, like, straight into the kobold camp. <laughs> okay. And you just hear just sounds of just general war happening over there. Two leaderless armies just <laughs> going at it. Okay. I mean, I mean, if you, if you want to cause, cause some chaos, we can just take like, a couple of fireworks and just start shooting at the people. <laughs> just, I'm, I'm, I mean, I can throw a couple more arrows in there, but uh, I think it's. Worth I would like to get back to them before uh, uh, sure. making any um, further you, choices. You guys also see like one uh, soldier like stops by sand, 
like his body, like flips him over, like checks for breathing, and then just pulls out his sword and charges down the hill after his comrades. Damn. <laughs> I'd like to I'd like to go to the top of the hill where the bodies are. And I wanna just cool staff. Loot them. <laughs> yeah, can but we, can we I want to loot the exploded uh, remains. No, I don't want to like try and like <laughs> steal any like armor or anything. I want to take like uh, something that identifiable so that we can turn it in for the bounty. Sure. From sand. Oh. Well, I want to steal everything I can from both. Of them. Yes. <laughs> I want to take, but I want to take her staff for myself. I want to like pick it That's up understandable. and like compare it to my staff and like hers is like a little bit better. Like it's shiny and Whoa, new and mine is like old and disgusting. So I just kind of toss my old staff and I take her shiny new staff as my own. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. What, what, can I search sand? I'm just like tearing everything off of them. It's like anything. Yes. Yeah, we are we are truly just little goblins just <laughs> running in there blowing uh, people up a, and then going and looting the body. <laughs> he has a heavy crossbow, a great sword, and a multi attack. Uh, you can take any <laughs> of them. I'll, I'll take his multi attack. <laughs> yeah, I'd, like I'd like to I'd like to be level four. <laughs> I'll take his crossbow. Or level three, whatever it is. What was it? Great crossbow? Or? He has a heavy crossbow and a great sword. I have a great sword. So I'm just gonna take his heavy crossbow. And I'll he has all these people under his command but no money. <laughs> Loser. Well, Why would he bring money to this? Yeah. Bribery. He's, he's, he's got Why all these bring, people. Why would he bring the crossbow? Honestly, <laughs> he's got all these people under his command. You think he needs to pay for anything? Well, I mean, he probably does, but maybe not. Well, yeah, well, at the time. Most, most likely. He has a bag of holding in camp. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's raid the camp. Yeah, so, at, yeah. This, at this point, do you guys want to just raid the camp? Yeah, just go uh, ransack the camp. I wanna, so you're able to see that there's like one or two people back in like the human camp, um, and um, the kobolds. Um, they were surprisingly, like, you're able to see the general mayhem going on, and you're able to see that they were surprisingly, um, ready for just, like, a massive amount of humans crashing through their niche. Um, and what it looks like, um, is, like, the kobold's, like, fire arrow symbol might have been, like, a signal fire at the top, and... I mean, that was a fire at the top, <laughs> signaling <laughs> something. So, um, so that's going well. Uh, both sides are um, fighting. Fighting. Neither side seems to be particularly winning, but neither side is uh, losing either. <laughs> as uh, They're all just kind of like bodies are piling up on both sides. Oh, so it's basically just... It's just like it's just like like to every one human dies, a couple of kobolds yeah. die. So I want to take my the trophies that I got from the from them to prove that we that we killed them in order to claim the bounty and just retreat back down the hill to where my buddy Brandon is hanging out and just kind of make small. I'd like to imagine him. that we go back to Brandon. and He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you guys what? Do? what? Oh, you guys, you guys are all, I'm, I'm basically kind of like. like I know he was. I know he was in on the plan, but. Uh, you know. Okay. I just go like, back super casual, and Brandon is just down there, like wide eyed. I'm kind of, I'm kind of waiting at the at the edge of the fat, the fight. So whenever the, it looks like there's going to be only a couple left, I just go in there and be like, nope. Oh, yeah, <laughs> You're not um, so are you guys going into the the gray night? Actually, yeah, we should, uh, we should go in there. Right. So you're, you're looting the bodies and then looting the rest of the camp? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's I'm, pretty funny. I'm, yeah. I'm just hanging out. Yeah, I, I, I want the money. Yeah, I want no, that bag of holding money. that I'm convinced exists. I got my cool new staff. <laughs> <laughs> Where else is he keeping the money? In a pouch? Yeah. Like a loser? Uh, oh, no. Did you check his pants? Hopefully. Hopefully find me a halibut that's better than mine. We might have to fight those two dudes, but like, whatever. Yeah. I, think I, could just I got a new bow, it's itching to be used. Yeah, whatever, it's like, I just chuck right, so you, you guys are going, are going into the camp? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good, because that, you blew up the big bad guys, um, without fighting, so we need to fight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you ruined my encounter, guys. You ruined my encounter, because I gave you 30 
pounds. <laughs> it might <laughs> remind you that we still have 20 still have pounds 20 left. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, you see a circle of tents uh, pitched like near near the mountain. Uh, you see half a dozen outlaws still in the camp. Half a dozen? Um, Shit. Most of them are like very clearly like cooks or okay. you know just like not people Support you would staff. send to war anyways. Um, they're just peasants that were brought along, uh, people who want to get in up on the spoils but aren't strong enough to fight. Um, and you see very clearly in the in the middle of the camp is a bigger tent than the rest with just this. Huge dude, just arms crossed, standing in front of it. That's where we need to go. Yeah, as I'm, I'm, I'm basically, basically screaming like, well, I kind of run in there, and I'm, I'm saying this in both like, common and elvish. Mm. Yeah. The, the two forces are fighting. The leaders are dead. We're Beautiful. looting the camp. The plan yes. was Beautiful. executed to fall. Yeah, I, I, I basically, basically start, start running there. Now we're in the camp. Kind of, kind of, kind of just like, kind of quickly running so they don't. They don't tell it's like you might be a short dude, not not mm-hmm. an old dwarf. And I'm basically screaming all these like like saying that the that the cobots are run, coming, run, run, run. run. That, this, is, this guy's Paul Review. Yeah, <laughs> basically. I'm, the cobots I'm are gonna, coming. I'm the cobots are coming. Sprint at the big guy. Yeah. Uh, I see him, I see him <laughs> as the biggest threat in the room, and I want. Yeah, him. yeah. Me, me and him are like me and him like sprinting. The room the big being guy. outside. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen. I don't understand the concept of a room. Right? <laughs> yeah, a room is just room. Just yeah, I guess I'm distance. also just readying the bow at this point. I'm just going to shoot the dude. While All right, he's so you, you're you're tanking. running. You're running at this this guard, um, and he's just standing his ground, and he's like kobolds attacking is my problem, but we sent all of them over there to attack them, so how could they be attacking us? They have more forces! We're losing, Lamel. How close am I, dummy? Uh, <laughs> 60, yeah, like you're at the, making your way into the, I'm gonna say like 100 feet. Okay. okay. Enough that you're able to like yell, but not like, not super nuanced yelling. <laughs> I want to. I want to. Upon hearing the commotion of them entering the camp, I want to get the wagon with the explosives and just kind of casually go to like the outskirts where I can sit on the wagon and watch. And what's going start, start throwing the fireworks. I'm bringing Brandon with me too. <laughs> All right. Bring the merch. Chuck the occasional firework for fun. Yeah. Um, just in so case. as far as can you give me perception rolls? Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, four. Uh, that's an 18. I'm good. 21. Uh, so, you guys are six. able Six. <laughs> you guys are able to tell that this guard is the only uh, outlaw left in this camp. Every, every other uh, person, either fighting person either is either over there over there, uh, or, or dead. Or dead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the animals is like so, probably running at this point? Yes. Okay, um, so. Yeah, and all the other like people who like, went into hiding as soon as you came running in, because they were just like, someone came running in, that's bad news, and they either went into hiding oh. or just straight up ran. I want okay. to tap Brandon and motion at, the, at him when he's running at the biggest guy and we'll just go, I got the big guy. <laughs> You're yeah. taking bets? Yeah, at this, at this point, I kind, of, kind, of, kind of, I kind of like also look at the big guy and I start running towards him just to help out my barbarian friend. I love the, uh, I love the, the gusto. I wish we just run at our problems. <laughs> yeah. well, he's not, he does, yeah, 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 that's yeah. the only answer he knows. Yeah, the, the only answer that is perfectly sound is... We, we could kill, not be two different characters yeah, if we tried. <laughs> yeah, kill, um, kill them before they so, kill us. So he sees you running at him, and he just screams, um, and goes into a frothy rage, oh, and right, well. just like comes out like... He, he just like starts running towards you as well. Love this. I'd like to rage. Okay. Oh, don't go over rage. We got the barbarian showdown. <laughs> uh, 
Um, good thing I don't have. Do, good thing I don't care about honor because I'm shooting him anyway. <laughs> yes, I guess. I'm just like everyone. Roll for initiative. All right. Do I have to roll as a spectator? <laughs> um. You want yeah, to do I have to get in involved? You want to do something? Thirteen. Thirteen. Six. Uh, so solid. Yeah. I think we have to do a five. roll off. Or... No, because I've hired decks. Okay. I think. Oh, that I have sixteen. Uh, ten. Usually higher decks just takes priority award. Gotcha. I thought it was higher strength. Uh, oh, gotcha. Okay. Who am I missing? Did you count during? Oh, what did you get? Uh, okay. Five. There we go. Um, so this berserker gets to go first. He's just going straight for you. Gotcha. Um, he is a great Ooh. axe. Um, and he <laughs> swings wildly. Uh, he doesn't actually rage. Uh, he he's reckless. Uh, so he gets advantage. And does a nineteen hit? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Um. He. Remember, you can always run away. That's no option. Run away is not an option. <laughs> yeah. uh, he does 10 damage to you. Uh, but you get advantage on him. Or actually, everyone gets advantage on him oh. until next turn. Awesome. Are you well, alive? I have four health. Nice. <laughs> Love it. I don't know why <laughs> You're I have alive, though. Well, because right. we're level one. one yeah. You can barbarian, so? Uh, yeah. Hilarious. All right. We're shooting him with an arrow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty simple. Nothing too complicated. That's an eight. That's a ten. Plus uh, five, so fifteen. That that is a hit. Cool. Also, I don't think range gets advantage, but a fourteen also has a hit. So okay. It matter. Sweet. Uh, that is a d10 plus four. Love that. Where is my d10? Here. My least favorite dice. Uh, eight plus four, twelve. That is how math works. Okay. Good thing Next. you took a high bit of death. So you 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 hit him with an arrow and it just lodges like right into his shoulder and he screams. Love it. Uh, and now you go. Awesome. Fuck. You do get advantage. Uh, does the eighteen hit? Yes. Okay. I'm going to just clobber him, just hands together, just down the head. Um, Don't you have a weapon? I have multiple weapons. He's not <laughs> smart enough to think about this in the middle of battle. Sorry, I just, you know, just a, just a question. Just a um, mild curiosity. Does a uh, uh, four damage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, really killing the game, huh? Uh, okay. Uh, wolf run. Okay, I run up for taking behind, behind this just... idiot and I basically <laughs> go around stabbing him with a halberd. That is a 17 hit. Yes. That is 5 damage. I roll really low. <laughs> Y'all, I cannot be the DPS ranger right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am not the ranger. <laughs> I rolled a 1 on a D10. Haters. Yes. I'm assuming you're running with them. Oh, I guess actually you were. Are you still stealthed on top of the mountain, or did you? Like I hope I am with them. Okay. Still, <laughs> I'm rolling with the flow here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shoot a firebolt at him. Okay. That seems reasonable. Ah. Seven. Well, you got Three. advantage. To hit. Well, he doesn't have advantage. Well, I think advantage is only melee weapons. On melee. Because Reckless at start of turn, Berserker can gain advantage on all melee att attack rolls oh, that turn, but no, attack sorry. rolls against it have advantage. Thirteen. It doesn't say melee. It doesn't say melee. Yeah, it just says no. attack rolls. So thirteen. Anything, it's so attack it's a thirteen. Thirteen does hit. Oh, thank God. Okay. And we have seven damage. Okay. Man, I love uh, the dude's looking like the dude's not looking good, but he wasn't. He never looked good. <laughs> um. So, 
Yeah, the dude, I mean, he has an arrow, so he got stabbed a couple of times, but he's still like... He's trucking. He's still, he's Set still the doors mad. Open. He's not oh. raging, but he is I mad. Um, now, Oscus, do you want to do anything? I want to... How far away from this whole shebang am I? Uh, 200 feet. 200? <laughs> You're outside the camp. <laughs> well, yeah, but I figured I would be closer than that. Uh, well, I guess you can spend your time getting close. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess I just kind of like roll my eyes and I get to about sixty feet away. Okay. Well, you can only move sixty feet with a four round action. Oh, I guess I'm one hundred and forty. Well, I'm just that's well, my we'll, next. We'll like, say you're out. You're outside of camp. That's, my, that's where you said you were. That's my next two actions: is to get like sixty feet away from this. Okay. <laughs> but I'm still I'm keeping the wagon, and Brandon is still with me. Okay. Uh, Brandon Yi uh, does nothing. Um, <laughs> it's now it's now the Berserker's turn again. Uh, he. I have a feeling somebody might really be knocked down. He's really confused about the guy who just like hit him on the head. <laughs> so he turns his he turns his attention uh, to Wolf Run, the guy that just stabbed him. Um, Reasonable. Threat assessment. <laughs> does a twenty hit? Yes, it does. <laughs> I'm glad I'm nowhere near these people. <laughs> All right, actually, does a twenty-five hit? <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah. Plus five to hit. just doesn't hit anymore. Uh, he does ten damage. All right, still up. Still up. And. <laughs> Everyone still has advantage on it. Cool. Oh. So it's back to Alurius. All right, we're shooting another arrow. All right. Just real classic ranger moves. Uh, is a 14. Yes. Good to go. All right. Back at it again with the deeps. Oh, man, a 10 plus f 15. Oh my god. Ever leaves the deep ranger here. <laughs> really just AD, just AD carry out here. I, I'm the rogue, I'm the bard, I'm the ranger. We're... Uh, fuck, your turn. Would oh, you yeah. like to use a weapon? <laughs> uh, that was the plan. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Does it 11 hit? No, 11 does not hit. Okay. <laughs> you uh, you pull out a you pull out a sword and I think this is the second time you've done this uh, that you just hit him with the sword and it just slides right off his armor. <laughs> Should have been a monk. He hits him with the flat side I've of the sword. Before, I'll <laughs> say it again. <laughs> um, now Wolf Run, your turn. Bolton, well, stab him again. All right. Let's get started. There's a fifteen hit. Yes. But that was a, that's a 14. All right, this dude is, he is looking hurt right now. He is. Yeah, if they're losing 30 uh, HP. He is not looking good. There are two arrows in him. He got hit on the head. Um, <laughs> stabbed a couple of times. Like, he's still up, but he is not looking. He on looking, fire at one he's point? Yeah. Bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was on fire. No hair, that's all singed off, including, including the eyebrows. So he looks just deranged. Um, uh, Kato, your go. All right. Does a 21 hit? Yes. <laughs> all right. And uh, as far as damage is concerned, I'm going to do seven again. He, he is on death's very nicely furnished doorstep. He's on its porch. He's just chilling there. <laughs> Come on, HP. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Does he knock someone down before he dies? All Let's right. see. He, uh, you're out. You're ranged, right? Oh yeah, by like 120 you're feet. Ranged. Yes, by very far. You're not anywhere nearby. I guess it's your go. Actually, I'm just now saying. You to, he's passing me. <laughs> like to uh, <laughs> walk up. Am I close enough to do anything yet? Uh, or am I still traveling? You're still traveling. Okay. You're just passing me at 120 feet. 
Well, I'm still traveling, man. Yeah. You're just kind of you, you, you get to... You just get, a leisurely stroll. Are you getting up into melee range of him? No, I just want to get within, like, 60 feet of the big guy so that I can slip on my healing word okay. real quick to make sure that he doesn't die. Like he's the one hurt. Oh, both of them. Well, both hurts. of them lost okay, the exact okay. same amount of health. One. Yeah. All right. He, uh... He's getting tired of being bonked by this big dude. <laughs> Does a seven hit? Let me check. Oh no. Uh, yeah, he just. He uh, tries to swing at you with the. Oh wait, sorry, actually. Does a 12 hit? No. Uh, well, he still swings at you with his uh, great axe and um, misses. Probably because he's bleeding out of every <laughs> orb. <laughs> You gotta respect the grind, you know? He's not running away. He's um, taking that bizarre ranger. Just <laughs> put another arrow in him, I guess. Yep, here we just go. Just finish him off. Let's do a 360 no scope. Yeah, just really <laughs> doing. Okay, never mind. That that goes wildly wrong. Uh, okay. I rolled um, a one, so. <laughs> you, you, you know when you when you like fire an arrow? Yep. Um, and you get like, you get hit in the arm, you do that. It like stings a bit. Stings. It was a 360 no scope. You do lose an arrow. Yeah, the no scope. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know. Yeah, I think. Um, <laughs> no, you're getting that one back. Fuck. Here we go. Uh, does a 17 hit? A 17 does hit. Awesome. Well, you get to finish him off after <laughs> cold punching him. Which one is the one? Yeah, I'm going to take up the long sword this time and, you know. Uh, <laughs> okay, or not. Uh, four. Finish him. I want to. <laughs> I want to like stab Don't it. Don't worry, he wasn't going. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stab him. Just like straight up, right after he missed, and just straight through here. Awesome. Damn. That's metal as hell. Uh, so this this uh, huge human is just like, I was just guarding the treasure. You'll never know where it was hidden. And he dies. Behind the big tent? Behind <laughs> the big tent. Uh, and then, yeah, so you guys, you just, you walk into the tent. Um, Treasures of the tent. Um, a map of the iron root is spread out on, over a table inside the tent. Various notations have been inked on the map, and a chess piece Chess pieces are positioned across its surface. Scrolls, coins, and wax seal clutter the table. At the rear of a tent, an ornate carved wooden rack sits with a wooden chest upon it. The chest is locked with a heavy padlock. So, oh. well, does a heavy padlock walk? Is it, like is, it, is it time to be the rogue? <laughs> can I punch the padlock? Yeah, I was going to say, can I just like, go over there? And I can I use a ray of frost on it, and then someone can punch it. That, could work. that is a half-decent suggestion. I mean, <laughs> I'm glad I can make a half-decent one. Hey, listen, I've, li I've played a lot of D&D. &D. People be like, I want to punch the padlock. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. <laughs> then, yeah, it's in character, but also, like... Oh, just, just sitting there with a firework. Kind uh, of like, so you, you guys do notice... Oh, um, actually, give me give me a, a perception. Uh, I want all the money. Just by the way. Uh, Four. 17. 20. 20? 20? I got nine. Okay. So you 13. guys, no, 14. Um, uh, you guys see uh, in the like on top of the chest's lock, um, someone you assume Sand Krulak, like scattered some dust on top of the lock, um, like heavily put dust on it so it's a nice uniform coat, um, so that like if someone were to like move it or try to unlock it, it would get fingerprints, fingerprints, and disturbed and all that. Um, it's dead. <laughs> and there's also there is a a sword just laying, like a short sword just laying right on top of the chest. That is also covered in dust. I like a roll for traps. Okay. <laughs> Can I? Let's see. Yeah, what would that be like? Um, I think it's investigation. There used to be a skill for it, but I don't know. Investigation, maybe? Inside? That's what I'm thinking. It's probably also for perception, right? It's one of those. Survival? Uh, uh, can you give me a... Uh, just, a wisdom, just, a wisdom, <laughs> just a wisdom check? 
I sure. guess everyone can give me a... Because once you... I guess you, you all tell each other that there's dust. Right? Oh, 17. 17? 18. That's just my wisdom. I don't know anything. My, uh, I'm so, literally... Yeah, never mind, never mind. You never. just... Like, you, you kind of know what this is, and you just blow the dust off. Um, and then after you blow the dust off, you just grab the padlock and try fiddling with it. Whoa. And, can my 19 stop him? And nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> Can my mind stop him? Man, he really just uh, did blow that dust off, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <"Hah!" laughs> Okay, is there a... Uh... Okay, so I guess there's nothing really of note, but how much coins did I just, like, pick up that are on the table? Um... I'm gonna grab a few for myself. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. How many did you spend on the fireworks? Can I, uh, like 15 or something? Well, yeah, you know. found 15 coins on the table. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I persuade you, also, you to share? Also Good on point. the on the on the table while you were rummaging around it, you noticed that there was some paperwork that said that Krulak is raising a mercenary army to overthrow the merchant houses. Yeah. He was the people's fighter. <laughs> you hate to see it. Uh, anyway, um, I mean that is interesting information. I will uh, I will memorize his handwriting. Okay. Because I can do that. I mean, I mean, at this point, I'll just take the, take, the, take the notes and that stuff. I'm gonna um, take the chess pieces. Can anyone open the chest? I we don't think freeze so. And I was gonna punch it. Yeah, that was kind of the best option that we had. Maybe not punch it. Maybe use like it's the like, sword. Give, give me a check to. I'll give you a sleight of hand. Can I strength check it? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I just rip it apart. Eat. Sorry, Dieter, yeah, your full you treasure does not get... Yeah, you it apart. <laughs> uh, it rolled a three. You... Actually, uh, we don't care about the treasure chest. Your cool treasure, unseen. Uh, okay, so the treasure has 50... Wait. Um, yeah, 50 gold pieces. <laughs> um, an emerald-shaped necklace... Uh, sorry, an emerald necklace shaped like a heart, and the emerald uh, necklace, you guys notice, is the heart of Myth Draenor, uh, the heirloom that Brandon Yill was so desperate to get back. Oh, he was oh. desperate for something? Desperate, you say? <laughs> hmm. Um, hmm. Shame if someone smashed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not where I was going. It's worthless to us. <laughs> so you guys... Fun. Okay. You guys get all of your loot, disperse it about. Brandon Yill kind of notices that uh, there's no one in the camp, and he just like brings the horses with all the fireworks inside the camp and goes up to the tent. He's like, Someone's hey guys! Oh, look, the heart of Mr. Nora! I've been looking for that! I'm just gonna. <laughs> just gonna. Right before you can grab it, just, mm, just right there. I will roll a sleight of hand if it means I get to be super cool about being like, mm -mm. no sir. Um, and as uh, Brandon says that and reaches his grubby little palm <laughs> out, you hear just like three different horns just blowing from the, the kobold camp, and just like. Very distant screams of just orcs. I knew it. Form, form a line. Um, and that is where we're going to leave off for tonight, unless you guys want to keep going. But I. It is eight fifteen. Demand that I have the <laughs> the necklace. Okay, sure. Great. I don't even need to keep it for very long. Like, if any of you want it for whatever reason, fine. But he is paying us a pretty penny for this fucking necklace. Can I? Can I? Is it just a? It's just a normal necklace. Like, there's nothing magical about it or anything. I think it's just very old. Okay. But there's no like. It's not like a special like cursed necklace or anything. It's not cursed. It's not. Is it blessed? Magical. It's not magical. It's just. Uh, it's just just old. A, Just some drip. Just worth. Yeah. Just okay. some drip. It has a Supreme logo on it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I want that necklace. It's emerald. It matches my my druidic tendencies. I have to kill me to like to ruin things. things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, well, thank you everyone for watching. The whole one of you. You might have even been a bot. Shout out to the four. Well, you know, watch. maybe somebody you watches the YouTube you video one day. Yeah, the YouTube videos do get pretty good views. You do they? Yeah. yeah. 
Sweet. Wow. I don't know. So I have not checked. So Hi, awesome. YouTube. Hi. Hi. We also stream these. Maybe they'll let us do a fourth one. Wednesdays. <laughs> Maybe. At six. Maybe. Yeah, Wednesdays at six. Mountain time. Usually six thirty. Well, six thirty. Six. Yeah, but, but be ready because you know, come for the pre-show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is nothing early. but the static on you know. Yeah. Oh, Love you. Uh, where's the button? Uh, thank you. Bye. Thank you for watching. <laughs>